I'm telling you, tonight's show is going to be live. Our first guest is just the tip of it. He's a multi-dimensional platinum-selling rapper, writer, actor, producer, director. He's an old friend of ours making his feature film directorial debut with the Players Club. Say what's up to Mr. Ice Cube. <laughs> Doing all that screaming, y'all gonna spend your money come see the movie this week? Oh, yeah. You right. know they are, man. All right. Now, you had the premiere last night, right? Yeah, we had the premiere last night. How was the reaction? Man, it was off the hook. You know, I think, I think the movie kind of stunned a lot of people. You know, people going in thinking, like, the movie's just one way, you uh -huh. know, it's real fun. And it is, but, but it's heavy, too, you know? I think I, 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 I kind of shocked some people last so night. So you're proud of what you're saying, right? Man, I'm real proud of it. I'm this is cool. Proud. This is good, man. That's good. That's good. Now, all the ladies that work on the show want to know why strip club. Why? Why the strip club? You know, uh, me and Ice T, we was in uh, Atlanta working on a movie called Trespass uh -huh. in '92, and uh, you know, on our off time, we we said, "Yo, let's go down to the strip club." It's like, cool. So we went in and checked it out, and it was cool. You know, it was like. It was, not only was it, it was just raw, and it kind of blew me away a little bit because they do it in the South a little different than they do it here on oh, the yeah. West Coast. <laughs> so, but I saw the story in that. I saw the, the real story behind these girls that they have to do this for a living, you know what I'm saying? And it was, it was to the point where I, I, wanted to, I wanted to capture that in the movie, you know what I'm saying? And the movie's not over the top with, with, with the sex or the stripping. It's just a real movie about what go on in this. So why people they lie. Cause you'd be surprised the people that end up being strippers. You said you had some friends, you came back to LA, girls that you're going to school with were stripping, right? Oh yeah, and that's what really made me write the, write the movie because it wasn't girls I didn't know, but girls I knew, you know what I'm saying? That they were stripping. And I said, damn, you know, I went to school with this girl and you know, now she got to do that for a living. What, what's behind that? You know what I'm saying? What's that all about? And you know, and I start coming up with this story, and you know, it ended up the Players Club. Now, do you have any surprises during filming? You know, every time you do a movie, some something you hadn't planned on doing, like destruction of property or oh, or oh, something oh. you didn't want to go okay. wrong. <laughs> we was working on the movie, right? And you know, when you're writing something, you can write anything, but when you have to pay for it, people start saying, "Wait a minute!" You know, I, I wrote this big explosion like the club, <laughs> kaboom! You know, I'm writing it. I said, "Okay, that's gonna work." So when we had this budget, they was like, "Yo." we cannot blow up this building. You don't, you, not, you don't have enough money to blow up the building. So when it was time to do the explosion, you know, I was kind of like this, kind of like mad, you know. So it's supposed to be a little be, poof, the way you were Yeah, just a little poof with some fire out. Dude, when we said action, this missile goes through the front door, and this thing just blows all the way up. Just kaboom, like this, you know what I'm saying? Now, it wasn't supposed to, the building was not supposed to blow up. No, I wasn't supposed to blow up. It burned down and everything. It, yeah, everything. Yeah. <laughs> but that's how it was supposed to be, so I was cool with it. I wasn't mad. I wasn't mad. No, no, you wasn't mad. So what, the man that owned the club was sitting like this. Hey, Cube, this is cool. Go ahead now. <laughs> yeah. So they what? had us on the news and everything. You know, Cube burns down his set and all that stuff. But so it was what, what cool. That's how, that's how it was in the movie, huh? What did the club owner say? Oh, he was mad. You know, he hot. His, his club is burned down now. You know what I'm saying? It's straight up. We, we didn't try to do it, but, you know. I like, man, you know what? If I ever direct a movie, I'm going to be as cool as you. Man, I'm sorry, man. Look, look, a little fire. It's gone. Hey. We be clubbing. Send back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, he, he was hot, man. But long as we got it on film, I wasn't mad. You know, that's 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 for the uh, the producers and you know. So you walked away. They, they they got a check. Don't worry about it. You be all right. Man, did we get it on film? That's all I was worried about. Oh, you direct you directed now because you think it just oh man. Straight direct. I think we have that on a clip of that, of the hey, Sandy. Let's see if we got some of that explosion happening. Recue it. Are we recueing it? We'll reenact it right now. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's the little fire. Yeah, that's the small little poof. <laughs> and you know, I, I run up, I, I'm happy with the dude that did the explosion. I'm like, man, that's the dopest poof I ever seen. You know, that was <laughs> off the hook, you know? And he, he was happy. He was now, happy. You, who'd you find? Because usually the guys you said, one little poof, you must have found like Pookie. Don't worry, man, I work with fire explosives. <laughs> Nah, you know, I worked with this, this, this short dude, and he, he smoked a big cigar, so I, I kind of knew. He had some he, problems. Yeah, that, that he had problems. He had mental problems, because he, he was too excited about blowing this thing up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, man, you wrote it, directed, exec mm -hmm. produced it, did the soundtrack. Yeah. And so, I'm in it. I got a, I got a role in it, too. You no, know, it's, it's in the movie, directed. So, you know, like, we can talk later about the money. <laughs> we can't we, talk about the money. We can't talk man. about the money. Nah. See, we got to talk about doing the movies. If you can do all these roles, man, we got to sit and talk. If you made this thing work, because I know now you got to be addicted, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready movies. to do it. I'm re I, you know, I think, you know, I've been so visual with my records, you know, on my career. I think, you know, as long as I'm in control of my movies like I am, like, like, like with the Friday and with the Players Club, uh -huh. then, you know, I can be, uh, you know, I can be as creative on film and, and you know, take, take, you know, this whole generation to a whole nother level, you know? So Getting our stories it, right? on, on, on film, huh? Control is the key, though, right? Control is the key. All right. Got to control it. All right. I want to say peace to Master P, too, because Master P, yeah. Master P is putting it down on controlling his own destiny. And, and you know, we can't wait on nobody, Sinbad. You, you do the right thing. Now, you can play a tune for us later on, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to do a tune out here with my man DMX. We're going to do the remix to We Be Clubbing. All right, man. Cool, brother. We'll be right back with Ice Cube and DMX and Short Shot. Here to perform, we be clubbing. Give it up for Ice Cube, DMX, and Mr. Short Shop, y'all. It's all good. Yeah. It's 
it's all right. Uh, sex all day, uh, sex all night. Yeah. Call my dogs, cause wherever I go, y'all my dogs. East to the West Coast, all my dogs. Now the East to the West, east to the best, sick of this. Uh, uh, out of DMX, the air grit to this. Uh, Atlanta to Pacific, fitness. Uh, uh, Got love for my homies that's getting the crap. Uh, we be coming. Uh, we be coming. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Big man. All right. Yeah. We'll be right back, y'all. Yeah,